Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at and see why did your person ghost you, okay? So, what's the reason behind their uh, disappearing act? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, so what's going on here? I'm going to start again. Okay. Okay, it does feel like a bit of a betrayal. You know, this person has maybe suddenly cut off all contact, all communication without any explanation and... I think some of you have been trying to attempt this individual. Unfortunately, that has been... Sorry, there's been an attempt to contact this individual, attempt to get some answers from them. However, there's... Uh, they've responded uncomfortably or they've responded with silence. There is an energy of engaging in a deep avoidance here, so which is hurting their feelings. There's also there's also um, an energy of them perhaps entering into a relationship with someone else. Okay, maybe an ex, someone from the past who may have resurfaced and, you know, they blindsided you in the process. The reason why this person has stopped communication with you or isn't even responding is that it has a lot to do with this person's comfort level when it comes to their emotions. Okay, there's something going on with this person. Um, and I think, you know, the tower here is definitely, your relationship with this person is definitely being impacted by a tower moment here. And it it's bringing a lot to the surface. A lot maybe that was, a lot of what was hidden in the dark, it's bringing a lot out, you know, it's dragging it out into the light. Um, and there's something here that your person is not able to uh, is not able to deal with. They're not able to handle. They're not able to confront. Um, and instead of talking about it or even addressing the issue, it would then be, it would then mean that you know th there's a confrontation, or there's the the need to confront something. And this is something that would make your person feel very uncomfortable because it doesn't feel like they're ready. Some of you, I feel like the reason why it hurts so much is a yes, because you know you've you've built up a connection with this person. You really connected, or you just re your energies really resonated with each other. However, I think you've been ghosted. You know, so you've been ghosted uh, on by a lot of other people. Or well, this isn't the first time someone has ghosted you, and it's this I'm seeing. It's you know, it, it's leaving you feeling very hurt and vulnerable and it's definitely affecting your mentality of you know romantic relationships and it might even be damaging to your like self-esteem okay you're questioning your um your self-worth or your uh, quest, uh your self-esteem here it's leaving you feeling a little bit aggravated a little bit upset and disappointed Here's the thing. I'm also getting that there is an ex here. I feel like there is an ex, someone here who's come back into the picture. I feel like your person maybe ha feels as though they had a stronger destiny with someone else, whether it is an ex or someone that they were associated with before you, or, or even if this, they met this person after you or during your connection, they feel like maybe they're more suitable or they would have a stronger destiny with this individual. And instead of, you know, talking to you about this, they've decided to just completely, you know, cut off all contact, all communication and leave you to do the figuring out on your own. For others, I do feel like maybe this is something with tower moment here. 
um, you know, exposed a very uncomfortable and a very painful truth. The fact that this person may have hurt you, you know, maybe this individual was lying to you and was seeing other people, maybe even multiple romantic partners. And this has brought out a lot of things that were in the, in the dark out into the light. But your person was not able to confront, okay, the crumbling, the chaos of the crumbling tower. And instead of sitting down and talking to you with a sense of transparency and honesty, even if it is uncomfortable, they've decided to pull away. Their behavior, you have to understand that their behavior says more about them and that it does about you. Because they've left you in limbo, right? They've kind of left you in limbo. You've, it's this, and it's this energy that is leaving, leading to frustration or rage or, or anger here. Um, if you need closure to move on from this person, for some of you, it might be a good idea to try and get in contact with this person, even though if you just met with uncomfortable silence, because that might be the closure that you might need to move on from this individual. I do feel like it's something that you're having a hard time moving past it. Your person might be cringing at what they've did and they might feel guilty, okay? Or they might feel disappointed in themselves for the, for the way that they've acted. But again, it feels like they're really trying to cut off with having to deal with their emotions here. And for some of you, I think this was, even though they may have like abruptly ended contact with you, I do feel like it kind of, <clears throat> their texts were becoming less and less frequent or even less and less enthusiastic over time. So they already seem distant when you were around them before when, before they've even pulled the disappearing act on you, when you think about it, right? They've already seemed a little bit cold, a little bit distant, um, or they just weren't, you know, hanging out as much anymore. Gosh, this person might even feel as though they didn't owe you an explanation. That's the other thing. Um, it is also something that can be ingrained into their attachment style. So if this person is an avoidant, someone who's insecure, someone who is, uh, you know, disorganized, um, this is someone who is uncomfortable with closeness and as a result this person is someone who values their independence more than anything so they may have felt a little bit suffocated or a little bit overwhelmed and this may have also led to the desire to end the relationship which then created this perfect storm for ghosting does that make sense again their behavior says so much more about them than it does about you And unfortunately, there was, you know, there are better ways and even other ways to end the relationship. But your person is, <clears throat> uh, your person is just overwhelmed here, and I think it was n numerous reasons. You know, they didn't want to be the bad guy. They didn't want to have to explain themselves. They didn't want to probe their feelings. The other thing is, you know, if this person is talking to other people or we're seeing multiple people it's common for someone to slip through the cracks you know and maybe if you know and I know this sounds very blunt but if they were talking to other people maybe you just weren't that top contender for them and that's why they've decided to cut a communication for you <clears throat> or maybe the two of you started losing enthusiasm for the connection and They may not have intentionally ghosted you for some of you. Maybe there were just more, there were other people that they were more interested in. But to me, it does feel like this person was avoiding confrontation either way. Because instead of having that communication here, they just avoided, you know, having to deal with feelings, yours or theirs. Okay. And at the end, I think that's what it comes down to here. So, you know, the fact that they've ghosted you says more about them than it does about you. And 
I think you still haven't, I don't think you still haven't, you, you're not necessarily moved on. And if that's the case, it might be a good idea to draw on your own closure or try and get in contact with them so that you can give this the closure that it needs. Um, or otherwise, maybe this person, even though they've ghosted you, they may still be attached to you emotionally or energetically. Because notice the figures are looking backwards and not forwards here, right? They're looking backwards. Um, we've got the tower that's sort of in the center here. Strength, which has come up in reverse. Definitely an insecure, um, a very, you know, imbalanced and stable kind of energy right now. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.